Hello, hello. This is Lolly back in my craft room with another update on my craft room remodel. So, um, where I left it, you know, I had shown, let me try to move you slowly. I had shown basically what I was doing to put things on my shelf and how I was labeling my boxes. Let's take a look at Llama today. Okay, so the main reason that, or the only reason that I had wanted to redo my craft room was because of this wall. I wanted that to be the impact wall because that is the wall that would be behind me when I was filming the face-to-face -face videos, you know, you know, you and me. <laughs> um, but that's where things got a little dicey and I got everything done, but that wall when we realized that, uh, for those of you who were just checking in, that if I were to do what we had anticipated and add uh, a real wall coming out of here, because this is unfinished concrete, if I were to build a wall out here, take away another like five inches or so of my floor space, which we began to realize just wasn't doable. So in the meantime, I'm pretty unhappy with this wall and, I, and I'm just deciding I'm just going to paint it and move on because I've got to get this done, uh, get the paint put away, etc. So what I have is some um, sealer or crack repair. We'll see how well that does. That crack has been here for ages and ages. Um, Yes, uh, those of you who have commented that I need to have my foundation checked, we already know that we are on expansive soils. Not a whole lot we could do about that. Um, but I do want to get this wall painted. So all the other walls I repainted. So that one, it, it is a fresh coat of white. You just can't, it's not here and it's looking pretty dingy. So I'm going to pull off or remove everything from this countertop here. Uh, not actually a counter, but these are all my ALEC units. I've got uh, five of them from Ikea. I'm going to eventually get a countertop, a nice smooth countertop all the way across. And I am going to remove everything off of here, cover this with a drop cloth, fill the crack, paint the wall white, and then I am not sure absolutely that point, but I may go through and paint like a border down this wall like I did on the opposite wall. And I will swing over slowly to show you what I'm talking about. If you get dizzy, you might want to look down just for a minute. Okay, so you can see this wall right there. I painted the very edge of that. So it says, and I did a vinyl on the side of the wall to say create and I painted the stripes. So I might do some of that over here. I'm swinging by again, so you might wanna look down. I might put a stripe in the corner, not positive, and I might put one on the left side as well. But for this main part right here, I might get a jumbo canvas and paint that and customize it. It was an idea suggested by Lori Nunemaker that I wouldn't be stuck with one uh, decoration for that wall that I wouldn't be able to easily change, whereas a canvas is easier to change. Okay, so that's where we are now, and I will get started. Okay, I'm back. Several days have passed. So I did take the uh, sealer and kind of worked with the crack that was across there. Um, this here is just shadow from the way the light is behind me. Uh, but I did uh, did seal the crack. I did three coats of that, letting it dry 24 hours in between. I did two coats of the same white paint that I have over on these other walls. And, sorry to make you dizzy, and I painted a broad turquoise stripe over there. And so now my next step is to uncover. You know, I just made a big mess here and covered everything up for the paint. So I need to uncover all that. I have some crafting to do and then I will get back here and I am planning on going to Hobby Lobby and so far my goal is, and this may not work out, we'll see, I plan on getting a big uh, canvas right in the middle there and putting my name on that and making a colorful backdrop for when I do videos. And maybe if I have any room I might put a uh, one of those pegboards on one side or both sides of that canvas. I think I will have room for both sides, so <laughs> wish me luck. Another thing that I want to do, I got this stamp uh, display rack from a thrift store, 
And this has my Catherine Pooler inks in it and just a few extras on the bottom, like Stazon and Versamark. But I just got this from another thrift store. And what I think I'm going to do, I thought I might put my Distress inks or Oxides in here, but they're too fat. So I'm going to move the Catherine Pooler ones over here and then move the Distress inks here because they do fit in there. There's, a, there's enough room. I may have to relabel because my Catherine Poolers are labeled on the side and now I have to label them on the very end. So we'll see how that works. That will be the next step while I'm still trying to figure out what to do on that canvas here. Thank you for watching. I will give you a playlist down below of everything I have in my video collection for my craft room.